off on our tour of Japan. First day, we got the front row seat, unfortunately. I'd rather have it on a different day, but hey, here we are at the Mandarin Oriental. Women, mostly, mostly women, uh, from the age of 12 to the age of 90, enjoying one of these classes because it's a workout for both your mind and your body. It's Trummy. absolutely fantastic. Actually, and to put them in the shoe box with the toes facing out, which is kind of counterintuitive because you want to just grab your shoes and put them in that way, which is fine, but if you want to do it the right way, toes out um, for your shoes. Then, we, I don't know why, but we use the term diet. Uh, I don't know if uh, our politicians always have a good diet or not, <laughs> but anyway, we call it a diet. Uh, building is just the past. And around this area, we call it the Kasumigaseki, uh, Japanese political center. So not only the diet, but uh, you know, the uh, prime minister's office, or uh, diet libraries, and so on, so on. All the important administrative offices around here. But facing to the building, on the left-hand side is the lower house, which has a little bit stronger power. On the right-hand side, facing to the diet building, upper house. A lower house, about 4, 480 diet members, uh, elected by local people. Uh, Osaka sent up more than 10 diet members to the parliament. Okay. On the left-hand side, Japanese flag hoisted uh, one of the government, central government office buildings. Uh, this area, Kasumigaseki. Sometimes in the newspaper, they say Kasumigaseki takes this kind of attitude, uh, same as Japan's government, Kasumigaseki. It's called one three million, one of the largest city. However, most amazing things, even for Japanese, uh, Tokyo is uh, uh, located together with many, many big uh, suburban cities like Yokohama. Uh, Yokohama already 3.7 million people. So we call it the Megalopolis Tokyo. Megalopolis Tokyo, 37 million, 37 million. The largest uh, city area in the world, they say. Uh, no wonder you see so many people in the city center. Daytime population, it's crazy high. <laughs> and uh, nighttime population, uh, 30 million. And ended in Tokyo. But now you are starting in Tokyo. And which is really a big change, actually. So I... Now, the first thing we're going to do is learn how to drum. They do this instead of Zumba, I understand. Good exercise. Hop, please, uh, use your energy, okay? And that's the perfect one. Perfect. <laughs> Everybody will be blessed by any kind of deities or god. Hi. Uh, the name of the uh, music is Inoru or to pray. Please enjoy.
is sushi. Okay, so that could be brisket, that could be anything. cucumber, that could be smoked vinegar, salmon, that could be whatever rice. you want to put in there. It qualifies as sushi as long as you used vinegared rice. The uniqueness and the importance of Japanese cooking is to focus on the seasons. <laughs> Uh, we put the importance on the season, not only through the pallet or tank, but also through our eyes. You know, the eye presentation is very important. Uh, this is a Japanese soup cup uh, with the features of a plum. Uh, blossom as well as cherry blossom because we enjoy spring season with these two blossoms. Uh, this is a sake cup, a small tiny tiny uh, ceramic cup uh, with the cherry blossom, you know, uh, uh, designs. The chopstick, chopstick also has the spring, uh, you know, motif. Chopstick rest, hashioki we call it, also flower designs. Therefore, we use this kind of tray uh, but instead summer. of a warm motif. Uh, uh, boat and the ship, because we use this uh, tray or a uh, boat or a uh, uh, smaller tray uh, in summer seasons because it gives a cool feeling. Yeah, get it on tray. Yeah, yeah, yeah.